how do we trade perpetuals on Jupiter? So here we are at jupe.ag and first things first, just want to connect our phantom wallet, connect here quickly and connect. And then let's just jump into phantom quickly, hamburger menu, settings, and then scroll down connected apps. And I'm just going to put on auto approve. This means I don't have to click extra transactions. By the way, just as a reminder, my suggestion is you split up your accounts for better wallet management. So this is a DGEN account, a DGEN address, and you can see there are other addresses for other things. Now let's go to perpetual and read and accept and continue. Now, of course, doing anything with perpetual swaps, any trading here with leverage is risky. So this is not financial advice. It is not a, a signal to buy short, long or anything like that. It's just a quick little bit of an explainer. So here I've got a little bit of soul and we're going to short it because I think it's going to go down a little bit and then come up again. So what we can do is we can put in the two soul if we like or something smaller or larger and then we can choose our leverage. Now, if we're choosing massive leverage, of course, this has a huge amount of risk and we can lose this pretty quickly. We'll go a little bit degenerate, but we'll go 20 and short soul and we'll confirm. OK. Auto confirm is not going to work at the moment, so we're going to have to confirm it step by step. Now, at this stage of the game, for some reason, we cannot add take profit or stop loss settings here. So then we can come down and we can do them down the bottom. So at the moment, we're up 21 cents. We're winning. So we may want to add a take profit. So maybe if the price of Seoul gets to $38, then we'll be up $7 or thereabouts. And that's what we'd like. You can see current profit and loss. I'm down $1.68. I may lose it all. I put in one soul, so I've got $38 worth of liquidity there. But I can put in a stop loss here if I want to. So maybe I want my stop loss to be, well, I imagine at $39, I'm going to lose basically all of it. But we'll just see what maybe $39.50 would look like. We'd lose just over half. You don't have to add a stop loss. You know, do a trading course if you're keen. Then we can close position in USDC or we can choose what we like. Doesn't really matter. And then we can confirm. Prove this transaction. Confirm. And now we can see we'll be liquidated at $40.15. We're down $1.73 and we're good to go. Now, of course, if you think the market's going to go up, you can put on a long. We'll go with a small long just for the sake of this tutorial. And then we can choose our leverage. If you have no idea what you're doing, then not financial advice, but do a trading course and play with much smaller leverage. If you want to go a little bit degenerate, just be aware you can lose this very, very fast. For the sake of just a little bit of fun, we'll make this quite small. So we may be stopped out, but we'll see how we go. So we'll long this at 40x and we'll confirm. This is opening a position. Then we'll add our take profit and then we'll add our stop loss. If we decide not to do a take profit or a stop loss and we end up wanting to do it manually, it's not as fast as a centralized exchange. So as an example, if I wanted to close this position, I'd have to click close and then I'd have to click confirm and then I'd have to approve it on chain. And every step, you know, a wallet dialogue has to open up and it just adds an extra step as opposed to a sex centralized exchange. This is definitely a great solution. So we're going to add a take profit here. Maybe if it goes up to $39, we'll make $2 and we'll add a stop loss here if it goes to $38, something like that. We'll confirm and then we can see everything here at the moment underwater on both, but it's just a tutorial just to show you how to use this. This is really, really epic because it's now all on one site. We can see everything we need to see. Swaps, well, you can see what I can see, so that's fine. Be careful out there with your trades, of course. Solana did run up quite high and uh, quite a high wick here. I'm not a trader, so to be perfectly honest, no idea what I'm talking about, but I imagine this will come down a little bit after breakpoint. And at this stage, it's really, for me, it's about dollar cost averaging. Good luck with your trading, learn how to trade, but now you know you've got a really easy solution at Jupiter, jupe.ag. You can also do perp swaps with ETH and Bitcoin.